Hi, this is Mr. Bill from Staten Island Tech, and this is going to be a quick video just showing you what the name of the different parts of the AutoCAD interface are called. It's often referred to as the GUI or the graphical user interface. When you start AutoCAD, this is uh, version 2021, you have usually a list of recently accessed documents on the local PC and a button over here that says Start Drawing. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to click Start Drawing. It opens up into the drawing space and that actually is what this is called. This area in the center of the interface is known as the drawing window. And uh, in AutoCAD, all of your modeling and organizational things will be happening here. Uh, as I move my mouse towards the top, uh, and I'm hovering over all of these pieces here, this is known as the ribbon. On the ribbon, you'll find all of the particular tools that are present inside AutoCAD. Some of them are much harder to find than others, but on the ribbon, you'll find buttons with names sometimes or just icons. But if you hover over one of those buttons, you can see it does give you a little bit of an explanation on how to use them. The ribbon has uh, several tabs to it. Each tab is grouped based on um, whatever category it happens to refer to. Um, the more to the left the tab is, the more important it is to you during your day-to-day -day usage. On each of the uh, tabs, you'll find a whole bunch of commands, and those are also further grouped into what are called panels. The panels are not necessarily the things that extend, these are just extensions of the panels, but this whole area here with these buttons that I'm highlighting is known as the draw panel that's on the home tab of the ribbon. And this is the modify panel on the home tab of the ribbon. If I go to annotate, you'll see a dimension panel of the, home, of the annotate tab of the ribbon. And on the dimension panel, again, you can extend it outward. And there's even a button down here to put open a dialog box that pops up. So that's the ribbon, and again, the drawing window. You'll see tabs on top that have the open drawings to be selectable. There's one other drawing that I had open today. So I could select back and forth between open drawings in those tabs. Those are called drawing tabs. Um, above the ribbon, you'll find what's known as the quick access toolbar. There's some important items here. There's the button that will start a new drawing an open drawing button, save, save as, uh, some mobile feature functions, printing, undo, and then to, write it, to the right of it is known as the workspace selector. Sometimes the workspace selector is not visible when you first install AutoCAD, but it's essential because in here is where you switch from the drawing and annotation mode, which is primarily for 2D drawing, to let's say 3D modeling. And once you click on that, you can see the the interface looks pretty much the same, except all of the organization on top that became part of the ribbon is now in a 3D modeling mode with different sets of buttons and things like that. So there's a lot of depth to the stuff that's going on on the top of the screen. I'll flip back into the drafting mode. To the left of that, where the big A is, that's called the application programming icon. And using that, you can do a lot of the functions that are available for quick access, but but other things as well as far as importing and exporting being two very important features in that. As well as if you wanted to customize AutoCAD, you can pick on the options right here. Then let's get towards the bottom of the screen. On the bottom of the screen, you have what are called the model and layout tabs. The model tab, again, is where you do all of the modeling and the drawing and the organizational stuff. But when you are getting ready to print something out, whether it's on a regular printer uh, that's black and white or color, or par perhaps a plotter. Uh, you're going to be able to select a paper size and arrange objects to be visible here. So if I were to draw um, a number of circles here, you'll see them here um, appearing in the layout view. Um, and then I can go ahead and, and change how, how much of this is visible and where it appears on the paper, as well as typing things on the paper like a name or something like that using these particular functions. So whatever I do, if I type something right here, that particular set of words is present on the paper but not present in the model view because it has nothing to do with the actual design. It's just notes or a title block or things like that. Things that you'd want to appear on a printout but not necessarily in the model space. So those are the model and layout tabs that are on the bottom. 
Uh, one of the most important things that's towards the bottom of the screen is this called the command bar. The command bar is resizable and it's dockable. Right now it's kind of stuck at the bottom of the screen. And if I move it up a little bit, I can see the last previous thing, uh, the three last things that I was doing within the program. Um, you can go ahead and type pretty much wherever you are. So if I were to type on a line, you could see me being able to draw a line by just doing that. But um, for the most part, I have to be looking towards the bottom of the screen all the time to see uh, different options that are available to me for the particular command or messages to direct me in the right area. Also on the bottom of the screen is known as the status bar. Um, here you can switch between model space and paper space. You can control the grid, whether or not your snap mode is on or ortho mode, um, as well as several other features. Uh, most of the stuff that's on the status bar is controllable through the F keys on the keyboard or the function keys to quickly go back and forth between them. But the status bar is present to have a graphical representation of what particular functions are on or off at any time. On the right hand part of the screen, you'll see the navigation cube or the view cube. This can be clicked and dragged to move you around like in three dimensions on the paper with some quick buttons on, on the, around it to like kind of switch back and forth from 3D to 2D or to rotate the view as such. So I can do that to rotate it um, counterclockwise or click here to rotate it clockwise. And then lastly over here is the navigation bar. The navigation bar will have some buttons for panning and, and, and um, zooming in and out in very specific ways, as well as orbiting and a few other things to help you navigate. Most of those things are either shortcuts on the keyboard or different ways you click the mouse. Uh, so you don't have to click on the navigation bar so much. Towards the top, you're really not going to be doing much over here on the top right. Uh, you can sign in and have more personalized things as well as signing into the Autodesk Cloud Drive and over here you can go ahead and type things to get help in AutoCAD. This is called the information bar, but it's not often used um, for us. Okay, so that's about it. I'm going to go over the pieces one more time. This is the drawing window here where you would be drawing your stuff in the model space. These are the drawing tabs to switch between active pieces. This whole thing on top where all the commands are is known as the ribbon, and there are panels on the ribbon, such as the draw panel, the modify panel, the annotation panel, that appear on the home tab, and then different panels on each of these other tabs of the ribbon. Above that, to the left, we have the application programming icon, the quick access toolbar, the workspace selector, the model layout tabs, the command bar, the status bar, the navigation bar, the view cube and the information bar where you can log in. That's it for now. That's the graphical user interface and what I just said to you would be very important for certification when you do take the certification test. Thank you very much.